Okay, so today I'm filming annoying things about Christmas. Don't get me wrong, I love Christmas. But there are tiny little things that are really annoying. So I'm just gonna go through them. If you agree, you agree. If you don't, just call me just call me a Grinch or Scrooge or whatever, but I think there are some annoying things, so let's go. Christmas Day, you've got three options on what to wear. Something that makes you look really, really smart. You've got something that's brand new out the wrapper on the day, you're like, yeah mom, I love that outfit, I'm gonna wear it right now. A Christmas jumper and a Christmas hat. Options, look like an absolute moron or look really good. There's no in between where I'm just gonna wear some loungewear, have a nice little chill day. That is not an option. You look like this or you have to look absolutely smoky. Okay, so you get those people that are in your family that you don't even really know. They're like your auntie's uncle's cousin's son that had a best friend that got married to your auntie's friend. And you're like, I have no idea who you are. But you have to greet them with a big kiss and you're like, I don't want to be doing this. Right? You really don't want to be doing this. But you have to do it anyway because their family. Okay, so there's always the having a bad Christmas present. And they said, oh, you're gonna really love it. So you get really excited, where you open up the present and you're like, why, why would I have ever loved this? <laughs> there's always someone that comes around on Christmas day that you was not aware was coming. And they come around handing out gifts like it's gifts galore. And what you realise is you have not got them a gift. And that is so annoying because then it feels really awkward and you're just like, oh well, I did get you a present but then it broke so I had to take it back and then I never, I, I didn't have a chance to get you another one. So, I mean, I'll bring it round in, the, in a week because it, it's the same thing, I've just ordered it again. Like, they know that I did not have it. They know you forgot the present. And for the rest of the day, they look at you across the table like this. Okay, so when you're out shopping with your family, or with your girlfriend, or with your friends, or whoever's gonna buy you presents, you've gotta be really, really careful what you wish for. Because if you walk along there and you say, oh, that's nice, you're gonna open it on Christmas Day, and you're gonna have to wear that. And if you just thought, that's nice for Uncle Jeff, it's not, it's now yours, and you've gotta wear it, because you told them it's nice. Be careful. Getting the same present from the same person every single year because 10 years ago you told them you quite like it. Okay, so this goes back to my previous one of telling someone you like it and you don't. Sometimes you do that and then it gets carried on for the next 10 years. Or maybe you did like it 10 years ago. But at one point, you've got to pluck up the courage to then tell them, actually, I don't like this anymore. I used to like that, but I don't like it anymore. Tell them around November, December, so it's fresh in their mind before they buy you it again. That's, that's what I would do. Well, that's fine. Every single year, you see family on Christmas Day that you haven't seen for a long time. So you get the first person walks through the door, Oh my god, you've grown so much! <laughs> I know. The last person walks through the door. You've grown so much. No way! I have not grown! Oh my god, that's crazy! I haven't seen you for two years! Of course I've grown! <sighs> okay, so when someone really, really hates the Christmas present that you bought them, that you were looking for six hours, and it cost you more money than you even have, and they open the present and they go... Thanks. And you know that present is going straight under their bed and then eventually, in a few years of time, it'll be given to the charity. They did not want it, they're not going to tell you they didn't want it, but you know they didn't want it. And in your head, you, all you can think is, why the hell did I even bother? I should just not have bought you a Christmas present. Because it cost me loads of money and you're pretending that you like it, so I don't even get my money back. On Christmas Day, you have to be so happy all day long. Otherwise, you get this from your parents. Oh my god, Casey, you're so ungrateful! After everything you got today, you're acting like that! 
Mom, I just said I don't like sprouts. You are so ungrateful! What can I do if I don't like sprouts? I just, I'm not gonna eat them because they make me feel sick. But, I'm ungrateful if I don't. Okay, so another really annoying thing is yet yeah, everyone loves a good Christmas song. Really good, really cheery, really happy. But when you listen to the same 10 Christmas songs all day long, oh my God, it drives me nuts. My head feels like it's gonna absolutely blow up. I like Christmas, but please can someone come up with some sort of really good Christmas album every single year. So we don't have to listen to the same one every single year. Okay, so this one's actually quite nice, like Christmas carols, like people that come round and sing Christmas carols on your door. I mean, it's quite cool, but then I need to go and find some money to give them. I mean, how much do I give to someone for just randomly knocking on my door to sing songs? Like, do I give them like 10p or do I give them like 10 pounds? I mean, it's quite annoying actually, that the fact that they're just standing at my door. They don't, they don't even knock most of the time, they just start singing. That, that's annoying, like, like it's nice, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice idea, but it, but it is annoying, a little, a little bit annoying. Okay, so people that do really annoying things and you're like, can you please just stop that? And all their reply is, come on, it's Christmas. I don't care what day of the year it is, you don't do that, it's annoying, just don't do it. But it's Christmas. If you enjoyed this video, Give it a big thumbs up, hit subscribe, all my links to my Instagram, Snapchat, everything will all be below. Thumbs it up and like it and do stuff like that. And I'll see you again next week. Bye bye. Oh, I guarantee we're gonna. Kays! What? What did you just do? Did it just pop? Yeah, but it's silent, doesn't matter. Yeah, but it's all, it's worse when it's silent. Thanks. Yeah, I told you. <gasps> oh my.